Forcible are right words. How forcible are right words. That good woman said, do you have your anointing oil there? I said, yes. Give her a shot. That two hours of labor ended as a joke. How forcible are right words. The word a man had that would go kilometers every morning must be a right word or them for a change of story. And it happened. Therefore, by today's covenant of favor, every air of misfortune shall be no more in your life. No one here will suffer the grace anymore. Your days of struggling for survival, they are declared over. The days of harassment are over in your life. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for sending out your right word this morning. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be seated. We're concluding our Sunday series of teachings today, captioned Engaging the Manifestation of the Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough, Engaging the Manifestation of the Holy Spirit for Supernatural Breakthrough. First Corinthians 12, 7, the Manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with her. The Holy Spirit is sent to add value to our lives. Profiting in any business is simply value addition. Value addition. Value addition. And this manifestation is sent to add value to every area of our lives. Remember this month, my helper, your helper, has finally come. And his name is the Holy Spirit. He says, praying for you that I go away, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. John 16, 7. But when I go, I will send him unto you. It's with you, but you didn't know him. But it shall be in you. John 14, 16 to 18. So it's the helper that goes along with you and me all the way. And our sleep is there on our journeys is there, at work is there, on the way to work is there, on the way back from work is there, that he may abide with you forever, so it's there. That's why every believer needs the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life to make the most of his adventure on earth. Every believer needs the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life. And that's why after every, every service, we have this opportunity for people who are not baptized in the Holy Ghost yet to receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost and have the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, our eternal helper dwelling on your inside. The fact that we cannot make the most of our life without this helper at work in us. This Holy Spirit has diversities of operations, 
differences of administration, but all by the same spirit. First Corinthians 12, verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of administration, but the same law. There are diversities of operations, but it's the same God which worketh all in all. But every manifestation of the Spirit delivers on demand. How much more will God give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? There is a demand before delivery. We can't experience a value addition ministry without making demand for that specific area of operation of his. We are told to honestly covet the gift of the Holy Spirit that applies to our desperate needs in life. The best, what to consider is needed, call for it, honestly, Covet the best of this issue in my life. Let me check out for one of the Holy Spirit that addresses it. Holy Spirit, come to my aid. Help me now. My prayer life is challenged. Spirit of God that helps men, men's infirmity in prayer, come to my aid. Rekindle the fire of my prayer altar. Rekindle the fire of my prayer altar. You are reading the Bible, it's looking like, a, like Greek. Holy Spirit. The master illuminator. The master teacher of the truth. The revelator of the deep things of God. Come to my aid and open my eyes to understand what the word is saying. So we don't wait. We make demand in our areas of challenges. Let's look at four vital manifestations of the Holy Spirit for spiritual breakthrough this morning. Now, we understand that every breakthrough in life has its root in spiritual breakthrough. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. People have not recognized it. Spiritual breakthrough is the mother of all breakthroughs. Spiritual breakthroughs is the mother of all breakthroughs. Spiritual breakthrough is the mother of all breakthroughs. Spiritual breakthrough is the mother of all breakthroughs. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be carnally minded is death. Spiritual breakthrough is the mother of all breakthroughs. This must sink into our spirit. For we know that all things are together for good to them that love God. They are in a very healthy relationship with God. All things work together for good to them that love God who are operating according to the purpose of God in their lives. If you let the shepherd lead you, you shall not want. Goodness and mercy are following you all the days of your life. And they touched them not when he led them to the deserts. He caused the rock to bring forth water for them. He cleaved the rocks also, and the waters gushed out. Godliness is profitable unto all things. It covers the promises 
of this life and that which is to come. So spiritual well-being is key to our overall well-being in life. Those who truly fear God, they fare well in life. They do well in life. Those who truly fear God, they do well in life. And we have a dimension of the Holy Spirit that helps us to please God as a way of life. And it's called the spirit of the fear of the Lord. One of the seven spirits that rested upon Jesus. It's the kind of the seven spirits of God. And we have that listed here in Isaiah 11, verse 1 and 2. That is also called the spirit of holiness. Romans 1, 4. That Engraces and empowers man to always crave to please God as their way of life. It destroys the taste for sin and keeps the believer on the right track with God. It sanctifies us. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 11, you are sanctified by the Spirit of our God. He sanctifies us. How we need that today in the body of Christ. The Spirit of the fear of the Lord guiding our steps to please God. That's a way of life. In Zechariah chapter 4, there was that vision. Zechariah saw seven candlesticks with bowls on them, all of gold. He said, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. That is not accomplished by power, nor by might, or by my spirit. So, our golden destiny cannot be accomplished in the energy of the flesh. Every child of God has a golden destiny, called a glorious destiny, but that is only made possible by the help of the Holy Spirit, our God sent helper. Lord, endue me with the spirit of the fear of the Lord afresh. Let my life be like a melody. Pleasing you all the way. And deal with the spirit of holiness and destroy my taste for things that displease you. I want to remain on track with you all my life. I want to maintain a sweet fellowship with you all the days of my life. That's what he does. But the good news this morning is that we can't have him without making demand for him. Demand for him. First Corinthians 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor visit themselves with one kind, with mankind. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall I hear the kingdom of God. But such were some of you, past tense. But you are now cleansed, you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord and by the Spirit of our God. So it brings us into favor here. And secures eternity in grand style. We need him. We need this sanctifier. We need this purifier. Chapter 3 of Malachi. It says, shall purify the sons of Levi. That they may offer unto God. 
an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering be acceptable unto God as in former times. So we need the refiner's fire, the Holy Ghost, to come and help us out of anything that can make God turn his back on us. May God not turn his back on any of us. Yeah. When God turned his back on Solomon, he brought adversaries against him till the day of his death. May God not turn his back on any of us. Yeah. Solomon was once in love with God, suddenly became in love with many strange women and God turned his back on him. May God not turn his back on any of us. Yeah. Someday Samson, the one-man general of Israel, who ruled Israel for 20 years, never did when the Spirit of God left him. Sin got him off track and was turned to mockery among the people he once dominated. In the precious name of Jesus, God will not turn his back on anyone here. Yeah. So we need the spirit of holiness. Psalm 37 and verse 18 and 19. How that applies to this time that we're in. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. What's happening on earth, notwithstanding? They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. So the fear of the Lord, living uprightly, secures destiny in season and out of season. Can everybody see the need now for the spirit of holiness? Can you see the need? Can you see the need for the spirit of the fear of the Lord right now? Lift up your right hand. Jesus, endure me afresh with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. So as not become my own enemy. Endure me with the spirit of the fear of the Lord afresh. So I do not become my own enemy. Solomon became, became his own enemy. Samson became his own enemy. Endue me with the spirit of holiness that will not become my own enemy. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. What you are receiving this morning is the vaccine of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name, each one's life will be turned to a surprise to everyone. Amen. Lord, turn my life to a surprise to myself. Turn my life. Somebody will stand here and say for 15 years he's been on drugs and suddenly the taste died. Turn my life to a surprise to myself. Someone is walking in pride and things are walking outside die for him. Lord, turn my life to a surprise to myself. Somebody's messing up his entire life. Lord, turn my life to a surprise to myself beginning from this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We can even close now because what we need is a strong connectivity with God to enjoy the dignity of, the, of, of redemption. We need a strong and healthy connectivity with God, fellowship with God, to enjoy high-level redemptive dignity on the earth is your portion. Yeah. You won't block your own way again. Yeah. You know, one of the blessings of the fear of God is favor. The fear of God usually attracts favor. Usually attracts favor. Joseph said, but I fear God. And we saw favor in his life. They couldn't find anything amiss in the life of Daniel. He had favor all the way through. No one will miss out of favor anymore. Amen. Number two, operation of the Holy Spirit is, is the spirit of prayer and supplication that empowers believers' prayer to always prevail, empowers believers to always prevail in prayers. To always prevail in prayers. 
It enhances our fervency in prayer. It ignites our passion on the altar of prayer. It helps our infirmity in prayers. So don't watch your prayer fire burn out. Call for the help of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, ignite my prayer life with renewed fervency. Praying the prayer that must be answered. Praying the prayer that answers in heaven. Holy Spirit, help my concentration in prayer. Holy Spirit, help me to deliver my desires in prayers. Can you imagine everybody has succeeding to pray? Lord, give me one new soul this week. In the name of Jesus. And you hear that prayer answer in heaven. And you came down with one next Sunday. Then you are already walking. <laughs> oh, we need him. Because people, they won't sleep. In conditional prayer, they sleep. There is nothing worse than depending on your energy in prayer. Nothing worse than depending on your energy in prayer. Nothing worse than depending on your energy and experience in prayer. You don't find yourself saying something, but you don't say wrong things. <laughs> if you are not saying prayer, you can say, God, kill me. <laughs> and there is no error in the word of the Spirit. There's no error. <laughs> don't let your mouth cause your flesh to sin. Don't say for an angel is an error. Angels are the ones that are stuck with prayers. So when you are dozing, don't pray. <laughs> so you don't say something terrible against yourself. When you are dozing, just say, Lord, I want to sleep. <laughs> when I wake up, I continue. <laughs> I may not understand what I'm saying. When you are dozing, you can say anything dangerous. You know when they say, how many people want to go to hell? And you are sleeping. <laughs> Just make sure. <laughs> people around you will now be the one to put your hand down. <laughs> because you are dozing. How many want to fail in life? <laughs> you know why? It's either asleep or distracted. It's not there. It's in Shomulu now. Now here is Kenan land. I mean, you are off toll gate. You are now in Ogun State. This man I'm talking about might be in Shomolu right now. He might be in Akumajo right now. He might be in a village meeting now. So I'm talking. Hmm? Well, he's typing his suggestion. Right? You think he's writing notes. He's not writing notes. <laughs> but when the Holy Ghost takes over, you pray prayers that you are convinced and persuaded heaven has had. Amen. Amen. And you know, the problem is trying to say many things at the same time. No. What is the object of the prayer? Jesus prayed one single prayer, one hour. Went again, one hour. On the same prayer, went again, one hour. But now you want to lawyer God. <laughs> My old man would say, don't lawyer me. <laughs> they are not ranking your oration and prayer. It's not ranked. When the best orator in prayer, then your prayer is answered no. They think by much speaking, this shall be hard. Just, you are before your father, calm. With the Holy Ghost helping you, Jesus, what I desire is four standing souls for your kingdom and for establishing in this church the remaining five weeks. Hallelujah. Hear me, oh God, hear me. It's from the depth of my heart I demand this. 
Show me the way to go about it. Jesus, I'm looking up to you. You don't have to pray, pray, and be sweating. You are not going to, you are not in Gethsemane. You are not going to carry a cross. You are talking with your father. Amen. Amen. That makes prayer most adventurous. I got to a point in my life, I write my prayer down and I read it to him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It makes prayer most adventurous. All this closing your eyes and knowing that you sleep. It's not, it's not prayer. <laughs> Lawyers don't lie down in the court. It's true. They don't close their eyes. You don't open your eyes properly, they flow you. <laughs> your eyes should be open. I'm not saying it's, not, it's wrong to need and I'm not saying that. I'm saying get fervent, get active, get connected in prayers. That's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Somebody's destiny has changed. Amen. Your prayer life will be so enjoyable from now Amen. as you invite the help of the Holy Spirit. Don't wait when you are dozing. When you get into prayer, Holy Spirit, I'm depending on your help today for fervency and effectuality on my prayer altar. Holy Spirit, help me. And then you welcome and relate with them in tongues. And then you can begin to bring out your issues. Can I hear your amen? amen. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. It can be so sweet when you understand the protocols. It can be so sweet when we understand the protocols. Now, receive afresh the spirit of grace and supplication. Amen. I decree sweetness in everyone's prayer altar from now. Amen. I decree direct access to the throne of grace Amen. in everyone's prayer from now. 1 John 5, 14 and 16, he said, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that when we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have received a petition which we desire of him. His will is his word. And if I can just chip this in, God's will is to have all men saved. Two of us. First Corinthians, First Timothy 4 and verse 2. Verse, chapter 2, verse 4, please. He doesn't want any man to perish. Second Peter 3, 9. Hell is not made for man, but for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25, verse 41. So praying for souls to, the will, to be saved is the central will of God. Praise God. So you target a soul for salvation, you are praying the will of God. You are praying the will of God. You are praying the will of God. And the multitude of people is the king's honor. So when you are a part of praying for people to gather, you are praying the will of God. And in the heart of me, I will honor. So when you know you are praying the will of God, you are confident that your prayer is answered. Now, listen. This new week, target some names and some families to pray them into the kingdom, to break the power of hell of their lives. Amen. Amen. Pray them in before you talk to them. Pray them in before you contact them. Luke 11, 21 and 22, break off the forces holding them down. Do that consensuously. Do that heartily. Name that family. Name that individual. Name that colleague at work. And say, Jesus, save this soul. You don't want anyone to perish. Target that your staff. That you know is not saved. But it's serving you faithfully. Faithfully serving you won't take him to heaven. 
pray him into the kingdom. Is your megad? Yes, it's a soul. Has equal value with God. Like your soul and my soul. Pray him into the kingdom. And then suddenly he tells you, I want to go to church with you, sir. That started. That's the way it works. In the precious name of Jesus, this shall be a most fruitful week for every one of us. Amen. You are giving out your tract. You pray over it in everything by prayer and supplications with thanks. You make your request known unto God. Don't just throw papers around. Don't just send, you know, electronic uh, message around. Pray over it. Don't just type a message to your new convert or your invitee. Pray over it. Let the Holy Ghost take over. And then you get results. Can I hear your amen? amen? Paul said in 1 Corinthians 14, 14 to 15, you don't know what to pray. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, and my understanding is unfruitful. Now what is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with my understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit. I'm saying, well, I'm so we pray in the Spirit when we don't know what the issues around them may be. The Holy Spirit knows. He prays according to the will of God. He targets those areas of entanglements in their lives and liberates them. We pray in the Holy Ghost to make that happen. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, very quickly, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of servanthood that makes leaders of ordinary persons in the kingdom. The spirit of servanthood. In the kingdom, only certified servants emerge leaders. Jesus says so in Luke 22, verse 25 to 27. He said, you know that the kings of the Gentiles exercise leadership over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so, for he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that doth serve. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at me, or he that serveth, is it not he that said I made in your concept? But I am among you as he that serves. And that is the man that scaled the utmost height. He occupied the highest throne in the universe. Amen. All things on earth, all things in heaven, all things right. now answer to him. He served his way to that ultimate leadership. He served his way. Don't sit down there and expect that uh, your self-esteem equals enthronement. No. Don't say the Lord who is anointed. I put my spirit within him. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged. You won't hear his voice in time, but because he waves in heaven. The art will come with them. They, 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 are, they are not newsmakers. They are newsmakers. Genuine servants end up as newsmakers. Genuine servants end up as newsmakers. I mean, David was back in the forest, and the other ones were in town, throwing their chest around. God came to anoint the king, couldn't find the king among those folks. He said, is that no other one? He said, hey, that one is not part of it. He said, call him. That's the man. That, we won't see that till when he comes. And he came out just saying, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall know. He said, is that a king? <laughs> he said, that's him. Anoint him. It is service that gets a man enthroned. It's not self-reputation cloud. Not sitting down and being checking on others and be shaking your head. No referee wins a prize. No commentator gets an award. Hmm? How much do they play 
pay less men in a march. Civil service salary. How much do they pay a player? It depends on how well he plays. Some twelve million dollars in a year. Out of referee, there are many referees in the body of Christ. Foul. Off. You know when you are out of service, you're no longer a candidate for promotion. You are no longer a candidate for promotion. It is serving that keeps our levels changing. Well done, you are good and faithful servant now, have the authority over 10 cities, over five cities, over one nation, over two nations, over 10 nations, over one region, over one continent. Just keep going. This servant shall build my city, not for money, not for price. You see, decorations of Isaiah 44, amazing things that servanthood begets. In the precious name of Jesus, no one here will be weary serving God. You will not give up on serving God. You never tell the story of when you used to serve God. You will serve him to the end. Yeah. You will hand it over to your children. Yeah. Your children will have it over to their children. Yeah. Your lineage will be a lineage of men and women that serve God. Yeah. Finally, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of praise that empowers the redeemed to operate in the supernatural. Praise. Praise. Why? God inhabits the praises of his people. Psalm 22, verse 3. And the Lord thy God, in the midst of this mighty, he will say, rescue you from danger. He will rejoice over you with singing, ever triumphant. He will rest in his law. He will do over thee with sing. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee. And praise gets him to be in the midst of us. He gets him to be in our life. Exodus 15 to 11. Who is like unto thee, O God, is like thee. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, doing wonders. It does not just stay within you to monitor your life. He keeps doing wonders. When you succeeded, when you succeed in retaining his presence, he keeps doing wonders in your life and my life. We saw Paul and Silas in the prison. They prayed, no sound, no voice. Then they sang praise aloud. The mockers mocked them and God stepped in. The foundation of the prison was shaken. Everyone's bank was loosed. The gates flung open. My God. <laughs> Doing wonders. You come in with praise. You have triggered his presence that is always accompanied with wonders. His presence is ever accompanied with wonders. Don't join the murmurous company. It never helps any believer. Connect with the ever jumping and pressing individuals. Then you become a custodian of the wonder working power of God. It is inside you to work his wonders. It's inside me to work his wonders. Can I hear your loudest amen? Can I hear your loudest amen? So it's your turn. May everything murmuring in any one of us die today. Yeah. You will not know the meaning of depression anymore. Yeah. So they call him 
the oil of gladness. As anointed me with the oil of gladness above my fellows, oil of gladness. They call that the oil of joy, Isaiah 61, verse 3. So when things seem to be going down, Spirit of God, pour afresh on me the oil of joy. Unleash upon me the oil of gladness. No, I shouldn't be found here. I should not be found depressed and complaining and murmuring. You are more than enough. You invoke the release of the oil of joy. You invoke the release of the oil of gladness. It puts on you the garment of praise. Can I hear you? Amen. Yes. Yes. That, that's the Holy Spirit. He just decks you with the garment of praise. I don't entertain complainers. No. It's like smoke of cigarette to me. God has been good. How are you today, sir? Great. <laughs> Praise God. Your wife is dying. Great. They're attacking you in town. Great. Amen. That means what I'm doing is affecting them. It's great. Isn't it? They say you are evil. Great. What an opinion. Don't let no devil break your joy. You miss his presence. You miss his presence, you're empty. For without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. If you ask all those who are bothered about this church, they want to see what we see. That's their problem. But they don't want to do what we do to see it. You know where people are gathering? There is something on their cone. You see that cone in that church? There is something there. I saw it in a vision. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> it won't let you go there. Security won't let you go there. <laughs> Amen. What you have there is Jesus, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> It's a lie. Nobody can say it's prospering now if it's not cutting corners. In this depressed economy, it's a lie. That much we are doing. Yes, we are doing covenant. Yes, yes, yes. You don't know covenant, that's your problem. We are doing covenant and it's foolish. That's our own thing. I've been showing you my charms all along. <laughs> I hope you are using them. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Throughout this hard season, you won't smell it. Yeah. Your business won't know it. Yeah. Your career won't suffer it. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A hundred years of labor will not be equal in value with one day of favor. Many of us have struggled enough. It's time to step into favor. They were working so hard for around 30 years. Nothing to show. But favor landed one day and despoiled the Egyptians. Massive transference of wealth. Awesome God. The word that is still speaking today. Awesome God. And the Lord gave them favor. And he said, I'm the Lord, I change not. Is releasing that favor to you and me today. Amen. Exodus 12, 36. But we don't wait for favor. Favor has to be entreated or provoked. We don't wait to experience favor, to have favor. 
said, good understanding gives favor. But the way of transgressors is hard. Proverbs 13, 15. We need an understanding of how to provoke God's favor. He said in verse 12 of Psalm 45, even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. They will provoke thy favor. They will trigger thy favor. By favoring the matters of your kingdom, they trigger your favor. People have been crying and praying for favor all their life. Here are some of the ways to provoke favor from God. Be born again and remain so. Psalm 5 verse 12. The Lord shall compass the righteous about with favor as with a shield. And by salvation we become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And so by favor we got saved. Can I hear your amen? amen? Ephesians 2, 8. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Be born again and remain so. And that makes you and I a child of favor. Can I have you say with me, by redemption? I'm a child of favor. Misfortune is not my portion. Now, number two, no one with a heart truly panting after God and the interest of his kingdom ever runs out of favor with God. Come again. No one with a heart truly panting after God and the interest of his kingdom ever runs out of favor with God. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servant said, take pleasure in the stones of Zion and favor the dust thereof. Therefore the hidden shall fear the name of the Lord and not the ends of the earth thy glory. Serving God's interests keeps a believer flowing in favor. Psalm 35 verse 27, let them shout for joy that favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. We take a pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. You take pleasure in his kingdom. It takes pleasure you favor his, the interest of his kingdom. It takes pleasure in your prosperity, unending favor, pouring out on you and I, how it does. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Added to you. That enormous wealth was added to Solomon. He didn't ask for it. He just focused on God, help me, to please you in administering this, your great people. Give me wisdom. And God said, You have not asked yourself riches. So I, I added it to you, so it was added. That, that eternal wealth was added to Solomon. There shall be strange additions Amen. on your life and my life. Number three, stay in love with God. It entitles the believer to ever flowing favor. First Samuel 13, 14, I found a man after my own heart, a man with a heart for me. First Chronicles 28, 4, he said, God liked me to make me king. When you have a heart for God, you secure his favor to make you anything he wants to make out of you. Get back to 1 Kings 
I mean, First Chronicles, sorry, chapter 28, verse 4. Howbeit, the Lord God of Israel chose me before all my house, all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, he chose the house of my father. And among the sons of my father, he liked me. He liked me. If you love him, he will like you. If you love him in truth and in deed, he will like you. He likes me to make me king. He likes me to bring his word to pass in my life. He likes me. When you truly love him, he will like you to make a surprise out of your life. He was not a candidate in the eyes of his father. And his brothers don't think there's anything in him. But he liked me, brought me out of the wilderness, straight to my father's house, and from my father's house, straight to the palace. Number four, walking in obedience to God's instructions unleashes divine favor upon believers. Whosoever has my commandment and keeps it is the one that loves me. John 14, 21, in the love of love my father and I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. I will show up in his affairs. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, if you hearken to my voice diligently and observe to do what I tell you to do, I by, by favor, we set on high above all nations of the earth. When he says, Lord, by the favor, you have made my mountain to stand out. He makes us to stand out by his favor. He makes us to stand out by his favor. He makes us to stand out by his favor. I see you standing out. Amen. In these dark and gloomy days, Therefore, expect to begin to flow in favor from henceforth. As you take a strong stand on these covenant guidelines, possess and maintain a heart for God. If you truly love Him, He will like you. If He likes you, He will cause you to stand out. Nothing flies like favor in the kingdom. He took Joseph out of the prison, straight to the palace. Nothing breaks protocols of life like favor. Watch out for it. We have in this church an army of die-hard servants of God. So it's your time to assess your high places. It's your turn to assess your high places. It is your turn to assess your high places. It is your turn to assess your high places. As I close, benefits of genuine member of any church. Number one, you replicate the unction there if you are truly connected. Every engrafted branch to a stem produces fruits after the stem to which is engrafted. Don't be a passerby, please. It pays nothing. You replicate the grace. The oil upon the head of Aaron will flow down his beard, down to his head, and down to his foot. It's time to replicate. The manifold unction that flows in this place. This is a house of favor. We don't struggle for nothing. Things happen on their own accord as we keep facing God in the of his kingdom. It's your turn. Amen. Stay grafted to maximize your being here. Genuine membership reflects the source from where you are drawing. You become a partaker of the root and the fatness of the holy. You find that in Romans 11, 17 to 23. 
Number three, genuine membership brings under a strong prophetic covering that obtains in such spiritual family. Amazing wonders. Somebody was accosted. They shot him. The gun didn't answer. They used cutlass to hit him. He didn't answer. They say winners are gods. Life in this town lives. You are under such a strong covering where you are genuinely connected to any spiritual home, any spiritual family like this church. Then you partake of the goodness of that house. Whatever you see testified there is a pointer to what is available to you if you line up accordingly. Someone touched Jesus, the flow of blood ceased. Everybody was struggling to touch him, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Every testimony is a pointer that your own is available if you are interested. And so we have a of testimonies here day and night. Please don't play away your life. Nobody has a spear. If God directs you here, set to aim and draw maximally of the blessings that He makes available here. Lift up your right hand to heaven. I've come to a house of favor. Favor remains my portion all the days of my life. No more struggling for survival. It's the dawn of a new day in my life. And I thank you, Jesus, for this. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Very quickly, before we close in this service, you are here. You are not born again yet. I'd like to pray with you. Or you want to dedicate your life to Christ, I'd like to pray with you. Whichever way, get on course with God and life will take on a new meaning in your life. You want to be saved this morning? Jesus, forgive my sins. Save my soul from destruction. I want to become a child of God. Stand to your feet wherever you are. I'm praying for you right there. Somebody else says, I want to dedicate my life to Christ. I've been one leg in and one leg out. Today, set to me, Jesus. Set to me right now. Receive me back to your kingdom, and he will do that. You want to dedicate your life? Stand to your feet. You want to dedicate your life to Christ, stand to your feet. It's a dawn of a new day. It's a dawn of a new day. It's a dawn of a new day. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For all of us who are standing, please bow your heads for prayers. So lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this simple prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus for saving my soul. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Thank you for bringing me to favor today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I cover each of us that pray this prayer with the blood of Jesus. They may covered against our satanic assaults in Jesus' precious name. Shall we all rise? Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Please, all that that prayer, complete your forms, pass them on to the church officials around with you and after this service please you'll find Neo Converse tent, branch up there the church has some gift items for you and if you want to collect them, they will be for your identification and fill out your address properly, we have Believers Foundation class in hundreds of locations across Lagos and Otter, we'll be glad to connect with you by SMS on your phone on which one is closest to where you live and if you are not, by virtue of your job, able to make the timing, which is 6 to 7.30 p.m. every Monday, for only two Mondays, then we have the online options.
you have the address on, on the screen, connect the sense of, sense of mission, and you enjoy the same impartation of grace in the name of Jesus. Don't forget after this service, we have a brief session with those who are believing God for baptism in the Holy Ghost. It's your automatic right after being saved. Say, repent, and shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We have the tent across the six major entrances, uh, Holy Ghost baptism tent, this branch up there. Lift up your two hands. Now, I decree your reign of favor to start falling. This shall be a week of testimonies of favor. They will call from you from quarters you least expected. Your years of labor will be converted to favor. For everyone serving God in this house, no one will ever ask you again where is your God. I decree new chapters of favor open to you. I decree new chapters of favor open to you. And I cause the root of every form of misfortune in your life. Every cross of the wicked is broken of your life. Every original cause is terminated today. Your career opens up to a new world. Your business opens up into a new level. Your family life enjoys greater peace. And everything that God detests, everything that God hates in your life and my life ends today. By the spirit of the fear of the Lord, a new you emerges spiritually. By the spirit of holiness, a new you and me emerges today. In Jesus' name. May the favor of this house, which has been ongoing since inception, become your new identity. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Please, before we share the goodness, take note of this. More often than not, mockers are lined up on your path of change of story. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. When is When Elisha was about to collect the mantle for his next level, the mockers were on the right side and on the left side. We maintain focus. How long will you be in that church? God is working in my favor every day. Quiet. Quiet. Evil communication corrupts good manners. You must know who you listen to. The world is looking for people to be on the same floor with them. You better know where you're going. They mocked us and mocked us and mocked us, which provokes God to start making us. We were object of mockery in Kaduna. People stood on the way to our church. Don't go there. The devil is there. Don't go there. God is not there. We left them, sir. I never made one comment to tomorrow. The distance is far. Far! Face where you are going. Satan has spiritual agents. He also has human agents. Are you still going to that church? You better be wise. He wants to come to his level. Everything they fought us for. They are converts of it today. Mm -hmm. Don't take communion. You won't leave that church. They are all taking communion today. <laughs> Anointing the devil. Somebody delivered free of charge. Yeah. 
that after 32 hours of labor, that is how much the devil is in it. Mm -hmm. You better wake up and know where you're going. Wake up and know where you're going. You have your life to live. We are going to answer to God one by one. Don't let any smart and cold preachers with seducing spirit get rid of your destiny. If God says you belong there, you better stay on there. You are just about stepping into his agenda for your life. Yes. Don't let any devil confuse your life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, our Tuesday special miracle healing services is now our liberation hour service. The Lord said to me, the same word of faith that heals the sick sets free the captive, yes. makes the barren woman fruitful, sets to smart destinies, opens up new chapters of people's life, the same word of faith, and I hate waste. Let everyone that requires liberation find their way there. Now, watch. <laughs> As I was writing that, Tuesday's 29th, our liberation hour started 29th of May, 1981. So it's a raw reenactment of liberation unction. And I can tell you, it shall be oozing forth like river. It shall be oozing forth like river. My first message was 1 John 5, 4. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world and overcomes by faith. And then God told me, I brought to the apostolic face of your ministry for pace setting. Things that eyes have not seen or ears heard, they are things we've been hearing here. That have been seen with our eyes here. Watch out for it. Don't let any operation of the devil last a moment in your life. If you are not able to be there, who come online and be part of that liberation unction, it shall begin to operate like fire. Next Tuesday makes it 43 years the liberation hour started for the three years. I never had an idea of it when the Lord told me this. So when I was right and I saw it, I had to scroll back my phone to the last Friday of Wednesday, I mean of, of 1981. And I found it there. Same date. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not the liberator. I'm the agent of the liberator. When I say it, as he puts it in my mouth, he confirms it. He will confirm it in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your two hands, everyone, and give God thanks for a wonderful time in his presence. Celebrate him and magnify him. Celebrate and magnify him. There's none like our God. Your week of favor is here. It will be unending. It will keep going. We have been under favor for the three years running. You are entering into it today. You will never know misfortune anymore in your life. You never know a setback anymore in your life. No more weeping behind closed doors. Testimonies all the way is your portion. Be blessed in your family. Be blessed in your home. May your labor of love in this very yard be continually openly rewarded. Together, let's share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 20.